to episode six of today is to do our Spurs beta save here on YouTube, where we're competing in the now bigger beta battle, a sweet left foot and uh, pressing forward FM have both joined in as well, so check out their links down in the description below. But the Tottenham wobble is certainly on. If we have a look at the schedule, it's been a tough, tough time since you last joined us, uh, where you saw us beat Liverpool. We then played Nice and lost over two legs, on away goals, it must be said. Um, in the midst of that, we conceded four goals at Wolves, losing 4-3. Um, we then got back on track a little bit with Burnley and Southampton before getting absolutely spanked against Crystal Palace. I've never seen all like it. We, we just capitulated, and it all started with Gareth Bale getting a penalty away. Um, and that is a set of ratings there that was absolutely horrendous. If we have a look at the league table... We are still on top. Manchester United have played a game more and are on 62 points, just two points behind us. Um, Arsenal also playing a game more and on 62 points. So a win today would take us back to five points in front, but we play Manchester City side who have just sacked Pep Guardiola. So what are we going to come up against? It's going to be something very different. The team that starts is this team. Now you will notice there is no Harry Kane. He's injured for four weeks, three to four weeks. Uh, you'll notice there is no Lucas Moura, pulled his hamstring, he's out for a little while as well. Uh, we've rejigged the midfield, we've had to make some changes after that last game. So this will be the team that starts against Manchester City at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It will be Loris in goal, a back four of Regulon, Sanchez, Aldevar, Aldenorie, Dyer and Winks holding the midfield with Lo Celso just in front, Gareth Bale on the right, Bergvine on the left and Song Hyun Min starts as the centre forward. Now, I've not really got on with Carlos Vinicius. He's, I don't trust him, so hence why he's not playing. Because I'm sure you may be thinking, well, why not put your other striker in? I'd prefer to see Son up there and bring Bergvine in. Um, the Manchester City side, managed by Carlos Vicens, um, is Edison in goal. Diaz, Laporte, Stones and Walker... Gosens, Gundogan, De Bruyne, Fernandinho with Sterling and Aguero. So a little bit different there. Um, no major notable exemptions or exclusions. So we're going to pump this. No, we're not. We're going to... What are we going to do? We're going to do hands on hips, maybe? Fresh arms. Right. I'm expecting to see a much better performance today. I certainly am. Um, and how do we... Right. Joe, uh, no, he's... We're just taking the chance to rest Joe Hart. He's been on bench all season. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, of course, will play in close attention. Because I hear, or I know, he's not a bad player, that Kevin De Bruyne. Right, here we go then. This is a potentially season-defining game. We lose this, we are definitely in the mud. Um, we win this. We, scalp, we take a big scalp in terms of Manchester City. And we also put ourselves back five points clear at the top of the table. It is an early corner. And it's Gareth Bale crosses in. Alderweire will go for it. Can't quite get his head on it. But Bergvine will pick it back up. But plays a slack ball into Gareth Bale. But then does well to win it back. But Fernandinho has outrun Gareth Bale. This has been a theme of the last couple of games. Zaha did it to him. Now Raheem Sterling into De Bruyne. And he's got Kyle Walker overlapping. Kyle Walker down this side. Crosses in and Raheem Sterling. Oh no, anybody but him. Raheem Sterling scores against Tottenham. We're 1-0 down at home. And oh my word. It was from our corner. And Gareth Bale again down this side. In the last game, he lost the ball to Zaha, chased him about 50 yards, and decided to whack him down in the penalty area. Um, on this occasion, it turns out he couldn't outrun Fernandinho, which is a little bit disappointing, um, as Manchester City do try to play out from the back. It's now John Stones into Fernandinho, and back to John Stones. I would always play John Stones. I'm a big John Stones fan into Gundogan, and it looks like... Manchester City are starting to flex the muscles here. Kyle Walker down this side again. Guillaume regular on all sorts of problems. But Sanchez fortunately clears away and Song picks it up. And now it's Bergvine. Now maybe we could break. Bergvine down this left-hand side. Skips past Ruben Diaz. He's into the box. And it's a terrible finish by Bergvine. Oh, dear me. We've had five shots to their one. Their one's been by far the best chance of the game. 
as we tick in to just over the half an hour mark and it's into Aurier now. Down this side for Son. Son has he got? He's got nobody in the box apart from Bergvine. And Son just hits it into the side netting. Something we were very used to seeing on the last football manager. We haven't seen a lot of it on this one. But today we have. They're playing three at the back. I didn't see that coming. We're Sterling up top with Aguero. And it looks like for... Oh, oh we have got an highlight. Regulon into La Celso. Back to Regulon. Oh, and he gives it away. Picks it back up though. And it's down to Dyer. Eric Dyer now. Out to Aurier. Is he going to swing a ball in? He's not. He's going to give it to Gareth Bale. And Gareth Bale makes up for the early, early error. It's a cracking finish. He had all the time in the world to turn on the edge of the box. It's a simple ball into Dyer. Dyer plays it out to Aurier. Is he going to whip it in? No. Bale checks back. Takes the touch and unleashes one into the top right hand corner. Edison with no chance. Eighth goal of the season. And that makes my team talk a little bit better than it was going to be five minutes ago. Right. I'm still not happy with performance. That's motivated everybody. Good. Gareth Bale's now looking confident. Um, we'll have to see what we do with this front three. I've got the option of Brooks. I've got the option of Deli Alley. And I feel that this could be a Deli Alley type of game. So La Celso may take off if he starts to flag. He's starting to flag now. We'll give him five more minutes. At 60 minutes, Lo Celso will come off. However, Lo Celso plays a nice ball into Gareth Bale. Down this inside right. It's back out to Aurier. Chance to cross here. Is he going to? He is. Oh, and it's whacked away well by Kyle Walker. And now Sergio Aguero will come forward. We've got play players chasing him. One of which is Eric Dyer. It's back to Kevin De Bruyne. Kyle Walker down this right-hand side. Stop the cross, stop the cross. Well done. Good tackle, Bergvine. It's into La Celso. Back to Regulon and we will play out from the back again. As Regulon goes into La Celso, into Bergvine, down this left-hand side. Highlight continuing. Still Bergvine into Son. Son, you mean? Oh, it's the bar. It's a cracking effort from range. And sadly, it just rattles his crossbar. Doesn't quite... Sneak in, and now Manchester City's got a highlight, and it's Raheem Sterling and De Bruyne causing problems again. Kyle Walker, edge of the box, Fernandinho, that's offside, surely. It's not. Oh, but it's wide. I thought he were offside. Apparently, he weren't. Right, changes. It's going to be Deli Alley to come on for Giovanni Lo Celso. <sighs> Probably Harry Winks. Is that having the best of games? I'm going to bring on Moussa Sissoko. And then David Brooks, I feel, will probably be my last change of the game. Would a point here be end of the world? Probably not. But it would. we've got to play these again and all in the running, so... It'd be nice to get a win. Dele, Bale, oh, it's Aurier, Sergio Aurier! Oh, he scores! He scored! He's 2-1 to Tottenham! Oh, what a goal that is! Oh, I thought the chance had gone. I thought the chance had gone when Gareth Bale didn't edit in. It's Regulon into Bergvine. Plays it into Dele. It's a peach of a ball. Bale just can't quite get there. Aurier strikes it. Edison scrambling. 2-1 Tottenham. Whew. Breathe. Breathe. 73 minutes. Right, this is going to be a, a woes to nerve sort of thing now. Right, Aurier takes a terrible throw in. Manchester City will look to break away, but Davidson Sanchez picks it up well into Sissoko, knocks it over to his fellow Frenchman Aurier. Back to Sissoko. Regulon, Sissoko, Dele, Bergvine. Oh, I think we've just Man City, Man City. <laughs> oh, Bergvine scores. Number 10 of the season. 3 1 to Tottenham Hotspur. And oh, my word. I mean, what a bit of football this is. Ore into Sissoko. Regulon again. Sissoko. And he just plays it into Dele. Little finesse pass into Bergvine. It's 3 1. And we're all having a lovely time at this at the uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And it might now be time to make that change. And I think as 82 minutes, we'll watch this highlight, then we'll start trying to run clock down a little bit. Um, as it's into Regulon now. Regulon looks a stride forward. Tries to play a ball. Sterling can't quite win it. Clearly not good enough. And it's whacked away by Ruben Diaz. And Eric Dyer wins it well. Into Deli Alley. Sissoko. Now Regulon. This was just the kind of performance we needed after that defeat. Crystal Palace as Bergvine makes it four. It's four goals for Tottenham. And oh my word. Pep Guardiola. 
he's been sacked for a reason, you can see, but this kid's not doing much better. Deli Ale, Sissoko again. And as I was chatting away, Regulon plays a lovely little ball through to Bergvan. He curls it into that bottom right-hand corner. That will be the kill for substitutions. Um, we're going to time waste a little bit now because there's no reason for us not to take his time. Frequently time waste. And I think our final change of the game, it's going to be Gareth Bale that comes off and David Brooks will come on for Gareth. Oh, not on Don Bell. I don't know why he does that. Right, Brooks will come on for Gareth Bale. That should do it. As we look comfortable against Manchester City for this last four or five minutes. And Bergvine might fancy it here. He's whipped it in. It's headed away by Laporte. And Kyle Walker will look to break with all his pace. Kyle Walker coming forward. Can we stop him? I mean, it's, it's tame. It's a tired, tame effort from Kyle Walker. And I think that that is the perfect response. The perfect response. Because, make no bones about it, we got absolutely outclassed at um, Salas Park. But to come back like that, um, I'm very pleased with that result, boys. Absolutely buzzing with that result. That hopefully should be... We've got them to play again at the um, Etihad. So, you got to bear that in mind in the running. Um, yeah, God, do you know there's so much of this at this level? I'm I can't wait to start back lower down where like nobody cares after the game. Um, right, so let's have a quick look now at what happens. So, this is Thursday's video, and if we look down now, in fact, let's have a look at the table first, that's important. So, that takes us on to 67 points with nine games to go as a five point gap over Manchester United. If we look at the schedule. We've got West Brom, Newcastle, Leicester and Palace, so you'd suggest that they're very winnable games. Southampton, West Brom again. We've got West Brom twice. Um, and now Manchester, then we've got Manchester City and Arsenal. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through these games here because these are pretty winnable games. Um, and then I think we'll come back for Friday's episode. It'll be one of these two games um, to hopefully round it off. And hopefully win the Premiership with Tottenham. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like and subscribe. You've got the other creators in this bigger now beta battle down in the uh, down in the description below. And that's it from me. So thank you for watching. See you later.